Okay. Welcome to my vagina. Get your own box. How do they spend three days in a box? And that's only if it's priority mail. What if they send it standard mail? What if it's not business days? I guess as long as they poke holes in it. Precious cargo and a sign that says this side up. Are you looking for a hot Russian bride? Do you find the dating scene in America a huge scam? Well, fortunately for you, there are thousands of young women on the international bride market looking for a husband. And it could be you. Our agency's policies of club em, pack em, send em, keep em will find you the right woman to buy from a developing country. Not finding the love of your life on eHarmony? Buy it! And it will love you back. This is Tatiana. It is Olga. Tatiana Fox. Tatiana, what's your ideal man? He is nice. He does not put socks on the table. And I will be most precious jewel to a handsome defender. Do you like to cook? Yes. And I do. What is your favorite dish to cook? Hremo. Oh, what sort of traditional Ukrainian dish is that? It is fresh. You put two cups water and a package of noodles and then you put it on the okay, stove. Okay, moving on. Find the wind beneath your wings. Then USPS her. We promise she will arrive both human and female. Add to cart. Order now or shipping's free. The concept of mail order bride was seen in the American frontier in the mid 1800s. Men from the east migrated west, establishing businesses and claiming farm, but found that there was a shortage of women to wife. And even though goats are nice to look at, they never stopped talking. <laughs> So they wrote letters to churches and published advertisements. In return, women sent photos. Then postage sent on a boat that probably took months and months. In modern days, we just bubble wrap them and overnight them. Am I right? Chilling in my country, not sure there will ever be a girl to fall in love on her. I fire up the iPad and I Google marriage photos, tell them, yo, I need a Soviet to laugh at all my jokers. Three weeks later, I'm walking down the aisle. Her vows are in Cyrillica, because English ain't a style. But I got big bucks, so I put her through some classes. And I love her when she says I look fresh in glasses. I think this, she speaks, I don't know, right? And like, the geisha one, like, what did geisha speak? Oh, um, yeah. Center for Immigration says that nowadays, at any one given time, about 90 agencies are handing out names, addresses, pictures, and bios of 25,000 women seeking husbands. They are predominantly Filipino and Russian, but entries can be found from nearly every country in the world. Now, when your wife doesn't understand you, it's not because she doesn't want to, it's because she only speaks Vietnamese. Approximately 10% of these women are successful. What happens to the shunned? How will they ever find true love? Why do foreign women want American husbands? Sources say that women are looking for a better life in terms of socioeconomic factors. Fair. Most come from places where education for women is scarce and wages are low. And the perception is is that American men are faithful to their women. I couldn't even get through it. <laughs> oh, the things you'll learn. <laughs> Personal reports from American men say they want foreign wives because they have more traditional values. They say American women are not content to be mothers and wives, but seek personal satisfaction through their own interests and careers. Apparently foreign women are happy to play homemaker and nothing more. RAGE! I guarantee you that foreign brides want more than to take care of your bunions. She's playing content like a possum plays... possum. Barefoot and pregnant, eh? There are insane profits to be had in this market. On average, Taiwanese men spend 10,000 US dollars on these types of marriages. Only 500 to 1,000 goes to the bride's family. The rest goes to the marriage brokers. Do you know how many Brazilians 9,000 US dollars would pay for? We're all in the wrong business! But beware of dishonest marketing like Natasha Spivak, who arranged the marriage of Natalia Fox to an American man who had a history of violently abusing women. Being a mail order bride can be very dangerous. In a foreign land, completely dependent on a man whose history History you know nothing about can go terribly wrong, and has. Emma Gooding, a Welsh social worker for Oasis Belgium, is stepping forward to educate foreign brides. She is raising funds to set up a multilingual website that will offer international marriage advice and warn girls of the risks of registering with agencies. That being said, marriages arranged through mail order bride services appear to have a lower divorce rate than the nation as a whole. Hmm. That's 
husband from there. According to the USCIS, USCIS reports 80% of these marriages last for years. Anyone for borscht dinners? Forever. 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 Remember, do not return if the seal is broken. No refunds. Don't forget to check out subscribe. Warning. Future husbands are now subject to supply mental health information and criminal history before obtaining a visa for future bride.